my time in Tarrant County is kind of done. Anytime you leave something behind, reflection takes the wheel. I don't mind the boxes, but I hate the process. It's happening to Richard Alpert, who is moving out of Tarrant County to be a law professor after giving 30 years as a prosecutor. And perhaps it's fate that as he leaves, one of the cases he's associated with the most hits its 10 year anniversary. I started to realize that this case had some um, information that was going to make it a media target. 10 years ago Thursday, Ethan Couch killed four people and injured several others in a drunk driving crash in Burleson. Couch was 16, crashing into a group of people who were helping 24 year old Brianna Mitchell, who had broken down on the side of the road. Mitchell, Holly Boyles, her daughter Shelby Boyles and youth pastor Brian Jennings all died. A passenger in Couch's truck paralyzed from the neck down. Investigators determined Couch's BAC was 0.24, three times the legal limit in Texas, that he had stolen beer from Walmart and was hosting a party just before the crash. We were looking for 20 years. Couch pleaded guilty to four counts of intoxication manslaughter and two counts of intoxication assault. All that was left to decide was sentencing. And things took a massive turn when Couch's defense pushed for leniency, claiming the teen suffered from affluenza. Simply put, Couch's attorneys argued that the teen had no moral compass, not knowing what was right from wrong due to his affluent upbringing. I'm pretty sure there might even have been a chuckle in the back of the courtroom because it was just absurd. Alpert didn't think the presiding judge, Honorable Gene Boyd, would entertain such a defense. Couch declined to have a jury decide his fate. It's an insult to people that have resources and money, and it's an insult to people that don't, implying that there should be a double standard there. Yet in December of 2013, an ask for 20 years of incarceration turned into just 10 years of probation. The air was just sucked out of that room. All we could do is just be patient and wait and see if what I predicted was going to happen would happen. And it did. And it did. Almost two years after the sentencing, Couch was seen around alcohol at a party playing beer pong, an apparent violation of his probation conditions. There was a part of me that thought, well, I didn't think it was going to happen this quickly. But yeah, I told you so. The next chapter, no one expected. When Couch's probation officer tried to get to the bottom of what happened, he and his mother Tanya had disappeared. No sign of the pair for over two weeks until they were caught near Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Police charging Couch's mother with money laundering and preventing the capture of a fugitive. They were both brought back to the States where Couch, in a different court this time, was sentenced to 720 days in jail, 180 days for each victim. So it was satisfying to know that he did go to jail for just about two years. Alpert was in the courtroom for that moment. Couch has since served his time in jail and remains on probation until December 10th, 2023. Couch's attorneys didn't get back to us, neither did Judge Boyd, who is now retired. According to court documents, Couch remains under strict supervision with an alcohol monitoring patch and curfew in place. He's got less than a year left on his probation. And even if he manages to stay out of trouble until then, I have no confidence that we're not going to see and hear from him again. In Tarrant County, I'm Matt Howerton.